Hello everyone. Happy holidays. Steve here from Tech Toy Tinker and Retro Arena. I wanted to take a couple minutes to do a quick video today to show you guys a new device that I'm going to be doing some software for. This is a Raspberry Pi 1B inside of a Sega Dreamcast VMU. It's got a 950 mAh battery. It's got the L2R2 added. Sleep and modes act as start and select. Currently there's about 12 systems on here. PlayStation 1, I'm not going to consider that as being a system on here because it's really not running too great right now. There's a lot of optimizations and things that I need to be doing on this device. I really just wanted to give you guys a very quick little introduction to it. As you can see, a lot of the games and stuff are in Chinese. If you're in North America, don't worry. I will have everything changed to English before I release an image for it. I'm also going to support the Chinese image as well because we do have a lot of Chinese users and I do recognize that fact and so I want to make sure that they have the ability to play as well. To control the sound you click this in one time and then go up or down. Maybe I didn't click it all the way. Ah, that's the click, okay. Yes, I didn't click it all the way the first time, that's my bad. If you don't click it, what happens is you turn the brightness down. Click it again. All the way, you should do the brightness. There we go, okay. I guess I have to watch this. Sound comes out of here. It's a paint stuck to my table. I'm not gonna make you watch all this. You press start and select here to So start and select, it may take a second, but it will actually exit the game. Um, it's just being stubborn because it's using... Like the Raspberry Pi 1B is a very... What's the word for it? 700 megahertz, I think, is the CPU. And so it can just be a little bit of a pain. Let me see if I can get this to zoom better, and then I can lock it in place so that it... There we go. Oh, I see. The controls are just magically not responding suddenly. Oh, there we go. That was just me, I guess. I had to click something. Final Burn Alpha. Some games work. Some games are a bit choppy. But again, it's uh, really early into this device. I haven't. I've only had it for a day, so I've literally done very, very little to it so far. There's a lot of stuff I do plan to do. As you can see, they're separated into folders here. When you get an image like this, you won't get any of these folders here. I don't distribute ROMs, not now, not ever, and I'm not going to start. As you can see, though, we do have the run command, much like a normal Retro Pi, Retro Arena build. When you get a public build for this, it will be Retro Arena or Ares branded. It will not be Retro Pi. I do not do Retro Pi builds, except for the Tinker board because I have no choice. But besides that, nothing. Oh, okay, that starts the game. I don't want to play this game, but... Neo Geo. I haven't had a chance to test all these games. So there might be a few that are not going to boot. I don't know. I haven't tried them. But we have Neo Geo. There's the proper click. All right. Too loud now. Find disk game, okay. I gotta click this button again, don't I? There we go. It seems like if you click this button and you don't click it again to it seems to disable these buttons. Like it's going into a separate mode to watch for or listen for the sound. Not a big deal. Just got a step you got to remember. I am very hopeful that there will be a lot more than 13 systems on here. I think PlayStation 1's probably about where it's going to top out. Don't try N64. Don't try Dreamcast. You don't have the buttons for them anyway. But if you're just looking to play, you know, like Genesis, Mega Drive, NES, maybe some Super NES... Game Gear, Links, Supervision, that kind of stuff will definitely work. I 
I'd say, I want to say probably about 20, 25 systems is what I think we could probably get working on here. You know, 2600, 5700, 7800, things of that nature. The little bit of speaker crackle you're hearing there is absolutely avoidable. I'm still on brightness, okay. Let's turn it down. I was going to do a teardown of this, and I do have pictures of the inside of the device from when I opened it, and then I realized that I didn't want to have to reassemble the entire thing again. So, I just took some pictures of the insides. As you can see, though, it plays fine. I have big, big hands, and I don't find it overly hard to use either. It's a little cramped, perhaps, but it's not nothing like... Nothing too terrible. Ah, so... That's about it for now. I just wanted to give you guys a little introduction and show you what was going on. Um, I'll do more videos and I'll put a lot of work into the software for this, as always. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Sorry that I've been taking a break for so long. We had um, another death in our family recently as well. Uh, my cousin Lemmy passed away. He was my uncle's son. And he was he was 18. It's been bugging me a little bit. But i got to get back on the horse sooner or later and get back to work. So it is what it is. Anyways, thank you for watching. Take care. Talk to you guys again soon.